Hi, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink, we all pick. So please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or go ahead and email me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com and I will try and get your bottle on the show as fast as humanly possible. With that being said, the guys um, are not going to know what they're drinking. They're going to tell you what they think of it and then they're going to uh, give it a rating on what it tastes without the hype of the bottle, which is always fun. So for tonight's bottle... But as always, they're right there, so I can't say what the bottle is, but this is our bottle tonight, and we'll see uh, what they think of it. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle. And I'm Jay. We taste whiskey, we don't know what it is, we tell you what we think about it without the hype of the label. So, that being said, let's get into this whiskey. That is like fruity it's and pretty. dark. And it's not that dark a color, but it's uh, very, very full from a nose. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, like it smells dark. You know what I mean? Like, like the dark fruit. Okay. You know what I mean? Like dates, prunes. Dark fruit. Mm -hmm. Cherries. Maybe not so much like a... I do get fruity. Maybe a touch of mint. Mm-hmm. Not super, super ethanol-y. No, but I mean, it's got a, got a good, good nose on it. I'll give you that. I mean, you can really get in there, too. Like you said, like, there's almost no ethanol it's in a, there. It's kind of light. It's not terribly dark. Mm. It's not too light, though. No, no. Nice thick legs on it. Yeah. Like my legs are still forming. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, fruity, caramel. I don't know, maybe a chocolate. I I kept going back and forth yep. on that. Like I A little bit of chocolate. So fruit and chocolate. You really can't go wrong with that. And a, a touch of mint. <laughs> right? Like, that sounds like dessert. I'm all in on that. It, it's your Christmas stocking. Cheers, guys. I'm going to get in here. Nice. That is interesting. It's a lot like the nose. It's layered. It's that sweetness, fruity, going into a caramel. I get a lot of honey. Mm -hmm. A lot of honey. That's that sweetness. Yep. And you nailed it. The mouthfeel is incredible. That is really thick, and it's got a nice oily taste feel to it. It's, mm. I agree, a hundred percent. Maybe a. Am I, am I getting a bread? Is there a bread on the end of it? It kind of has that kind of yeasty kind of... Yeah. Not... Yeah, yeasty. I don't want to say grainy, because, like, I mean, it doesn't taste young. No. But, but it does have that kind of, that cereal... Cereal. Mm hmm Good one. It kind of goes from, like, for me, immediately fruity into a sweetness, into that honey that you were talking about. Yeah. And then into... Yeah, kind of that... That kind of cereal. Yeah. I think a... Oh, it was like a maltiness or... Maltiness. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to describe it. So. It's man, nice. I like this. It's nice. I, I do. It's a little different than your... Than, than the if, average... Movie. If I had to guess, it'd be somewhere around that 100 proof. It's got, yeah. a, it's got a good... Good initial burn. But it's not like super hot. No. Like you can you can feel the warmth, but it's not like yep. a uh, 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 kind of right. So you know it's not like, super high proof. Right. Like the uh, the blanton straight from the barrel is it's good, but the the couple barrels I've had have been hot. Stag like, Junior. Yeah. My yep. goodness, does that have heat? That'll kick you. <laughs> kick you where it counts. In a good way. <laughs> <laughs> you get kicked and kicked where it counts, and oh yeah, then yeah, you're like, don't, don't okay, get don't get us wrong. Like we love Stag Jr. You, you go back for another one. Right? Like, oh, I'll take that again. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. May I have another? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna leave a little bit in here, and I'm gonna add some water into this. Just kind of see what it does. See what it do. So you like our uh, our little barrel stave here? It's amazing. I really do like it. Yeah, 
I think that's uh, and handcrafted, as I understand. It is it's very you handcrafted. Ma- made that yourself, did you? That's that's pretty cool. Uh, I wish buddies, I was that crafty. On my buddy's CNC machine, and then uh, it's basically a two-inch end mill bit. And and I'm really liking these glasses. This these different Glencairn snifter things that you have so, going on here. So so these are the neat tasters, and one thing I'll say, like if you look at it, like they are thick. It, it's definitely like they are, it's got heft to it. Like, Glen Cairns aren't super thin. No. But they're not really th- super thick either. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I mean, it is. It's like almost twice as thick as a Glen Cairn. Like, there is substantial weight in those things. Yeah, it's it's got some heft to it for sure. I'm going to see what some water did to this. Whoa. Super fruity for me on the nose after that. Definitely some more of that cherry flavor. Yeah, that soup that very much opened up the the fruit and the sugar. Pretty much no ethanol on it nope. at all. No, it wasn't too bad to start with anyway. No, no, I mean it definitely wasn't, but I mean there is no. I think that pushed it more into the floral range. Mm-hmm. A little bit more floral, but still. Bit... That that end mouthfeel is just wonderful and super thick, oily. Just yeah. coat your mouth. The water yeah. didn't change that. Nope. At all. If anything, it made it more thick. And I mean, it's it's nice. That is really nice. I would uh, I would definitely have some more of that. Mm-hmm. Well, luckily we have a little bit more. And look <laughs> how lucky Funny. we are. How lucky we are. Don't I have the best wife ever? Yeah, you know, I uh, I definitely would uh, she takes say care you're, of us. you're a super lucky guy. She takes care of us. So, I will say, I think I like it a little bit better without the water. Yeah. But at the same time, like, the water didn't destroy it. No? By any means. So, I'm not upset. Like, I almost kind of wonder what an ice cube would do to this, you know, after a good, like, five or ten minutes. Put a little bit of ice in there and just see, kind of just see how it changes and develops. I think I need a button. I need a button, like the old political button. It says, I like ice instead of I like Ike. <laughs> I do. I like ice. Sue me. <laughs> Cheers to that. It's good. Bing. Ting. Mm. So I have a price in mind, but... While you're sitting there thinking about it, listen to the sound of the difference. Clink. Okay. Now get the the neat taster. Wow. (laughs) It's just like a chunk of... (laughs) So how much of that is the fact that the Glencairn has the nice nice bell that kind of comes up half the glass, whereas this has... The bell is much more shallow at the bottom. I don't know. I mean, that could definitely affect it, but like if you just look at the width of the rim mm-hmm. on either of them, I mean, that is definitely... <laughs> it's substantial. It's a thicker... It's a substantial glass. <laughs> I like them. It's like nice. Them. It's nice to have the different ones. So while we're on the topic of glasses, you know, there's a lot of guys that say, um, you know, I take my whiskey in a rocks glass, right? Mm-hmm. They like it in a rocks glass, Tristan right. rocks glass. They're like, um, you know, what do you need a Glencairn for? What are your thoughts on that? You do you, boo. <laughs> you gotta have an opinion, though. <laughs> I do. What I'll, do you prefer? I, I like these. I like the neat tasters. I like the cask tasters that we've used in the past. The night or in the past, the nice big, heavy ones. Yeah. Um, and the Kentucky Bourbon Trail glasses, I really like. Yeah. yeah. Um, just something with that. That fluid, I mean, they all kind of do a little bit different depending on the bourbon and the proof and that kind of stuff. Um, they all treat a little bit different. But overall, like, if you really want to smell all the cool stuff that's in there, I just have a hard time in, like, a rocks glass. Like, you can get kind of an impression on it, but, I mean, it's not, it's just not the same, I guess. just doesn't bring it to your nose like mm-hmm. these other glasses. So what about the Norlin you know that those double wall glasses mm-hmm. that, that keep it. So I actually have not used one of those yet. Really? I have not. Um, I want a set. 
However, looking at them, the internal shape of them, it is very Glencairn-esque. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it does have a little bit of a nice little rim at the top. But other than that, I mean... Now, it does have four agitators on the inside, so when you swirl your whiskey, it agitates it and gets more of the nose in there. So says their marketing speak. I am <laughs> slightly skeptical because when you... <laughs> shake the hell out of your whiskey you get a lot more of that ethanol yeah. on it yeah i mean yes you do get more aromas in general but also a lot more of that ethanol whereas if you swirl or coat your glass it's just a much more nicer much more cherry floral awesomeness in there so i mean there's no wrong way to drink your whiskey no so you but, do you but rule of thumb be gentle be gentle with your whiskey. Be gentle. <laughs> James Bond would say, don't bruise it, right? I love that. <laughs> I love that. So anyway, I got a price in mind. What do you... You know, that is I, that is tasty, but I don't think it's really high proof. Based on its color, I don't think it's all think that it's, old. I think it's somewhere around 100 proof. And, I don't know. It's got, I I would, it's got I a would, decent color I would on agree it, with that. Uh, shall I go? Yeah, go for it. I'm going to say 50 bucks. 50. I was in that 60 to $70 price range. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Really? I really like it. Maybe maybe even closer to 80. Yeah. I really like it. But then again, like I'm one thing I love about bourbons is that cherry note. Mm-hmm. And to me like this definitely has it has that in it. Yeah. So I would go I back really for dig this. It. I would hit this again all day. It's it's pretty tasty. Anyway, you want to do the honor, sir? Sure. Used to be a semi-short glass. It does seem pretty short. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Old Forester one hundred proof. Did you not just do this? We did with Frank. <laughs> and I was actually kind of thinking it was a little <laughs> Old Forester ish. It's tasty. Well, I, I was wanting to try this. So, you, then you, you say you like it, though. I do like it. I like it a lot. It is delicious. And I have no idea what the retail is on it. Retail on this is like 20, 25 bucks. Wow. It's, <laughs> right? <laughs> that's that's pretty incredible. I, I say it's super, super tasty for the price, so... I think last time I was right in that seventy to eighty dollar price range. This time I was in that sixty seventy, maybe eighty dollar price range. It, you said a solid fifty bucks. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I want this. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna actively seek this out. It's that tasty. It just hits on all the right cylinders, right? I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's got the fruit. It's got a great mouthfeel. I mean, it's pretty incredible. It is. So. I'm glad I got to drink this. <laughs> Anyway, guys, appreciate you coming out, Jay. Thank you. Good to see you. All of our Patreons, love you guys. If you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe button. Until next week, Friday, noon central, drink blind. Blindly drink.